come on. Blast and security measures. Grr. There we go. This should help me find someone. Or help someone find me. Ow. Wait. Please don't hurt me. I'm... A friend of Red's. A friend of Red's? Yes. No friend of Red is a friend of mine. Grr. Wait. I was lying. That sounds a little too inconvenient. I think you were just trying to save your own skin. No really. Red is actually my mortal enemy. Mortal enemy? Hmm. <laughs> well, you see. Red and I used to be business partners once. Yet this grand idea to build a theme park. He called it, the Rainbow Friends Play Place. It's not like the one you know today. No, this was far bigger and better. We were young, and we had dreams. I was an engineer, in charge of making rides. While Red was in charge of creating the characters for this place to entertain kids. We both had our roles, and we have stuck to it. Until... Are you sure that we need all of that stuff? What do you mean all that stuff? That's what makes the ride works. Do you see what I'm doing right now? Huh? It's said that the car doesn't fly off the tracks. Last thing we need is that kind of a lawsuit. Do you see this? We don't have the money for all of this. We can't make these rides if this is going to cost us 50 million dollars. Red. These designs already have a bare minimum. See? This is how our roller coasters work. And this, is what will happen if we cut corners. I'm sure you are being dramatic. Just, see what you can do. Otherwise we may need to, make some changes around here. Red, only cared about money. Even if endangering people. I was pretty close to backing out of the partnership. If I known Red was like that in the beginning, I would have chosen not to agree with him. And then, it all came crashing down. Alright. You can now open your eyes. Tada. Our first animatronic. But he's more than just a robot. You see I combine my science with yours. My science? You stole my blueprints. I borrowed them. I thought we were partners. What's mine is yours and all of that. My blueprints without proper wiring could be really dangerous Red. You shouldn't be tempering them like this. Oh please. You're just jealous that I actually finished one of my designs. What happened to not be able to afford these things hi? You can't afford basic safety measures, but you got the tyrant resources to build this monster? It's dangerous Red. All of your ideas are? But it's a harmless animatronic. Look, if you touch it, it's just... Uh, what did you do? Get off of me. Red, do something. I didn't know that this could happen. I don't know how to stop it. Great, now it's loose. Look what you did. This is what happens when you don't think red. You don't know what you're doing. You know what? Fine. If you think I'm an idiot, maybe you shouldn't work with me. Sounds great to me. I'm out of here. And I'm taking my designs with me. Oh no you don't. Everything signed an agreement with me, I own all of your work now under my property. I was enraged. All of my work have been stolen. Then, the only thing I could do was to storm out. Keep it. You will screw it up anyways. Ha ha ha. He's going to regret that. I tried to take my mind off of it. To forget. To remind myself that there's no way Red can succeed without me. 
Until one day, I saw something that made me angrier than I'd ever been before. He was actually able to get his place completed. So, I was furious. And right then I knew, I had to get my revenge. I can tell that Red hasn't changed that much regardless if he's a human or a rainbow friend. His experiments gotten more and more dangerous. He turned us into these mascot monsters. I guess he ruined both of our lives. But if you want to get revenge on Red, I'm in. Well, 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 if it isn't my former business partner. You look like you've been doing well. Don't play with me, Red. I'm here to give what you deserve. Or... Is someone mad at me? The best geniuses work alone. You helped me realize that you know. Red. It's time for you to pay. Hmm. Well, good luck with that. But you can deal with my little friend first. See you on the other side. Run for it. Don't have to tell me twice. I don't want to become spider food. We can't let that thing catch us. Actually, there's something that happened to me before I went to this place to get my revenge. I fought all of those stuff behind me. Red has beat me in our game. The Rainbow Friends was a reality and I got no credit. I just tried to forget the past, and everything that happened with my old friend. I had to clear my head and enjoy my trip. I was going camping with my nephew. And that is why you never eat extra hot breakfast tacos before and morning hike. Ha 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 ha. Uncle Bob, you're too funny. Tell another. Ha. Uncle Bob. What was that? I don't know, I'm gonna go check it out. Be careful. Little did I know, my past was going to come back and haunt me. Hello? Is anybody there? Oh. Uh, what's happening to me? I can't move. It bit me. Hard. And its poison is venom gave me total paralysis. Uncle Bob. Are you okay? Uh. Help. Oh, Uncle Bob. I could feel my head get heavier and heavier. I wanted to help my poor scared nephew, but I was only able to release one word. Run. He thought I passed away. But I don't blame him. For the way I looked, that cursed spider did quite the number on me. And I haven't seen my nephew, or the spider since. Finally, I woke up. And my dizzy state I was looking around trying to find a way out. The spider's venom made me forget what happened last night. I was lost for hours. But eventually, I found my way out. And that's how I got to this place. What world. And I knew that I needed to break in. I also knew that my life wasn't safe from Red, or that spider. That is why I'm ending this for good. We really better not get caught then. I won't. Not again. We could lose them in there. Come on. Ugh. I'm stuck. This is perfect. I can blow this place sky high with dynamite. Hey. Help me. The spider could be here any second. Cut me free. Oh. I don't think so. Huh? Hi. I've gotten what I needed. With this dynamite, I'm gonna blow up all of our world. What? My plan all along was to destroy this place and everyone in it. Sorry, Sue. Just collateral damage. You. You used me. You know better than Red. I never said I was. Fine now. Alright. The technician shouldn't be far. Red. He's going to blow up on world. I know that you fool. Why wouldn't I be chasing him in the first place? You. Release him at once. Come on. 
We must stop him before it's too late. Ha. Huh. You're too late. I got enough dynamite blow up world, off of the face of the earth. Now all I need to do is detonate it. How are we supposed to get up there? I got an idea. Hey. Boyfriend. We need some help here. Hey. What the? Roar. Hi. Get away from me. What are you doing? Put me down. Put me down. If you insist. In a